Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play King's Bounty Armored Princess. So, last time we tried to get charged to some new islands, unfortunately we were not successful, but today we will try again. One of the charges that we know about just has to lead to one of those new islands and the fewer charges that are now uh, or available on the map, the more likely it is that it will actually lead somewhere where we have not been yet. So uh, I'm hoping that today will finally be successful. But before we go for the new chart, um, I want to get a level up. We are quite close. So I moved to uh, the Montero uh, underground. Uh, where we should be able to find quite a few fights around the very strong difficulty. So nothing really special, but I just want to get to level 22 safely. And then we will have the tough fight ahead. Uh, because yeah, there are no like easy to get charts left, at least I don't remember any. Okay, uh, anything we want to do before this? Oh, actually, we will also be testing alchemists today, so maybe this fight is not the best for that. But, I mean, it's the closest one. We will probably need two fights, so may as well start it there. Cool. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow there... I don't think I will do King's Bounty tomorrow. I finally want to record another episode of uh, Battle Brothers. Uh, I finally managed to get the Berserker build to a decent level, so I would like to uh, record a video as like an update. And so if you are, if you were following that series as well, tomorrow there should be a new episode but i will try to record two videos but i'm really not sure that i'll have time for it so in case i don't make it that's why uh okay so these guys go next which means we have to buff up now and now i really should focus on what we are doing these two stacks are pretty scary this one actually as well these guys are level four so that's a lot of damage. Okay, you have to fly there. Uh, this isn't too bad. Oh, I would love to move the dragon here. You'll be able to do it next turn. Uh, that would be great. And then we could do some interesting things with the with the alchemists. Problem is, it will take forever for them to get there. Let's do that. We'll see how strong the burn is. Wait, uh, this is also not too bad. Why are we getting so such uh, small stacks? Last time as well, we started it real well with like six hundred plus stack, and then. We are just getting less than 400. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, so that's definitely gonna be a heal. It might actually be two heals. Um, how fast are you? Not quite fast enough. I think about moving them into the trap. Wait. It's... Oh, right. It has an AoE effect. I forgot about that. Well, now I know. 
I really forget about it. Doesn't happen that often to me that I would forget something like that. Okay, we're gonna move you here. Who goes next? These two. So let's heal up. All the dwarves. Did I? No. Why am I taking so much damage suddenly? I thought that we might have lost the magic shield, but it's still up. Really? We are not in range? What can we do? Well, we can check tre treasure searcher. That's not bad. Mm. I'd really like to get the... Um, uh, what's the name? More lightning. I'll be doing 20. Mm -mm. Oh, I know why I wanted to keep assassins because of their initiative. Because now these three stacks are faster than anything that we have. So I have to plan uh, ahead. Make sure that um, I don't give these three stacks like free reign. Uh, so what does this mean? I can't cast haste on the dwarves, which I would really like to do. Well, wait. How much mana do we have? So this should be the target. And let's see how much damage is it going to be. 4,000. That's nice. Oh, that's even better. This could be the turn where we haste the, the alchemists. That would move them here and then we could hit two units. Oh, 
I expected so much more from them. Uh, uh, these guys have to be immune to, to poison. Yeah. So I definitely should have taken assassins for this. Okay, so let's at least make sure that we always hit the only stack that's not immune. Um... That was a nice hit, finally. Wait... How are we doing so little damage? I guess we can bite this stack. Let's try to shock this one. Okay, so so far those were pretty good hits from the ball lightning. Uh, where is the second chest here? So we're gonna use the warriors to pick up the chests. Wait. Yeah, against um, like living targets or targets that are not immune to poison damage, um, they are quite effective. And here it would be. Like if, if there were dwarves here as well, that would be like 2,000 damage, which is way more than anything else that we have. But the problem is the initiative. I just can't use the alchemists and, uh, and not have a unit that's faster than almost anything the AI can field. Wait. Okay, move out of the way. How are we doing rage wise? This turn is gonna hurt because we don't have um, uh, what's the word? We didn't have stone skin up, and we won't have a stone skin available next turn either, because I have to recast target this turn. That's bad.
Yeah, so you, as you can see, this is not just, or like the, the army composition is not just about the individual strength of, of the unit. It's um, like overall synergy of abilities, but also initiative. With assassins, we would be doing so much better here just because of that initiative. Okay, so this has to be target. I could try to slow down. Actually, no. Uh, how is it going to be? You move here. Ah. Uh, just in case the ball lightning is not successful, I will try to shock. Perfect. We managed to shock the the droids. That's a little bit greedy. Oh, hypnosis. Damn it, that's one of the high levels, but this proves that uh, we can get the high level stuff. This is, I think, on the same tier as Gazer. Just, we got unlucky with the RNG on the spell, spell or like the specific spell that the, that the chest uh, contained. Um... What else are we doing here? So this turn, I have to get stone skin. You wait. We are definitely not resurrecting this turn. I don't think that we need Mana Accelerator or that we have to cast Mana Accelerator, but I would like to get the Thorns in the range finally, so that they are doing full damage. There we go, that was a nice one. Okay, do that. Those two ball lightnings did a lot of damage this time. Please stop critting. Give me a good hit. That was a really bad one.
Uh, what else are we doing here? Just another mana accelerator. There we go, that's a second crit on, on this stack. That helps. That was much better this time. Wait. <laughs> that's that's so bad. Should probably wait with the heal after these two move. Wait, we are resurrecting this turn. Okay, now we just finish it before we have to recast target, which should not be a problem. Let me just try to get as much rage as possible for uh, the next fight. Is there anything else that we need to do here? It's turn 12, so no flaming arrows or anything like that. We just end. Oh, this is interesting. And now we have two um, improvements here. They are both excellent. Crushing blow that plus one push is huge. I talked about that last time. And the decreased cost of Dragon Dive, that's 25% more or less decrease in the cost. That's also huge. This act, this um, cost decrease actually makes it a viable option. But I think that Crushing Blow is more important. Okay, what's next? We need one more fight. Um, first of all, we need to do that. Fortunately, I don't have a choice in this case. Just 
I have to have high initiative unit that allows me to cast before uh, the AI does anything. Uh, it will change eventually. Actually, will it change? Because this is onslaught gives us initiative only for the first turn. Or is it? During their first move. It doesn't say first turn. Uh, is there more initiative somewhere? It's speed, that's something else. No. But I'm pretty sure Onslaught gives the initiative throughout the whole fight. It's uh, just that if we like move the unit but don't use all of the all of its uh, movement and then wait, then the second half of the turn uh, we don't have the initiative bonus anymore. But at the start of each turn, we should should have it. I hope that I understand it correctly. So yeah, when we get in, uh, when we get onslaught, at least two, but ideally three, then uh, we have a lot more freedom. Or maybe. If we replace green dragons with red dragons, then I think it would work because uh, red dragons have pretty high initiative. Why don't I just stop uh, trying to figure out a way how to uh, use as many unit types as possible and stop throwing away gold and we just use the most effective stuff that I know works. Um, yeah, giants. We, oh, <laughs> giants and, and the green dragons. Okay, we are definitely not doing that. wanted to take advantage of the rage that we ended the turn with but wasn't able to find the target this looks like a good target okay one two three who is fourth the vampires how fast are you not fast enough so you can move forward wait I think I have to end the turn. Nah, I'll just go for it. It'll take quite a lot of damage this turn, but overall, this should make the fight easier. We will keep the fight on this side of the map. It's not too bad. I think the spiders are more dangerous.
And what I'm gonna do here... I need to clear a path for the assassins, so... First we kick the spiders to this trap. Then we wait. Wait. And we move the spiders again. Fortunately, I won't be able to use the third trap. Oh, I actually will be able to use the third trap. I can fly here. Wait. There we go. Now I just have to focus on this stack. Hmm, unfortunately I won't be able to reset the backstep on the spiders. Um, I would have to kill how many of them? Almost half of the stack if I wanted to guarantee the reset. Okay, whatever. Let's, let's just <laughs> kill them like that. That works. Okay, that's definitely something. Let's go, Divine Armor, where is it? Yeah, eight crystals, that's pretty expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, how much is the upgrade? 12, but it's 30% all resistances. So combined with stone skin, and I'm pretty sure it's also physical damage resistance. It's not just like poison, fire, like the elemental stuff. It's also physical. So we are at 40, level 2, at 75. Then we have 7% from one of the awards, so that's 82. And I think we can get more somewhere. Or we already have, from one item, I think we have some resistance. So it might be around 85% uh, all resistances, plus 50% damage reduction from the, from the shield. So if we keep all of these buffs, Active, the dragons basically stop taking damage. <clears throat> Question is, do we need it here? And I'm pretty sure the answer is no. So wait. Who goes next? You go next. So just wait.
That was the second cast, right? No, it was the first one. I thought that we already healed this turn. Okay, let's prepare the spiders for the assassins next turn, so that they can reset. That's a little bit more <clears throat> than I planned, but it's fine, as long as some of them survived, it's okay. What are we doing this turn? Double casting flaming arrow? really want to get rid of the vampires because they are the fastest unit on the field right now. And the important thing is that they are faster than our assassins. Wait... Okay, now we have the fight under control, because even if I make a mistake, I have the time at the start of every turn to fix it. Oh, that was a pretty decent burn. Actually, now when I'm thinking about the, the Divine Armor, I can't believe how lucky we are with the timing, because uh, the next fight is going to be the fight for the chart, and that's going to be a really difficult one. Well, it should have been a pretty difficult one. With the Divine Armor, I think it will become kind of a joke. Yeah, I'll just take out the dwarves. Last check of all of the buffs. Make sure that we are using rage. Because we are not fighting here after this fight. We are going back to Verona. Recruit more units. And 
the next fight is on Verona. That's the last chart that's available there. Oh, that should have been a... F uh, I messed up. That, that should have been one more uh, mana accelerator and definitely a, a, the flaming missile. Or flaming arrow. <clears throat> Okay. So I would like to get rid of the drum. If I do that, that's 150. We will still have enough leadership for the dragon. And instead, this is artifact slot, right? This is one option this is another option you know that five percent isn't much but i think we could be greedy for a while on the other hand do we want to be greedy um because when we get to level 40 ellen hill will unfortunately attack us or uh, he won't attack us, he, he will want to leave, and we don't want him to leave, so that will lead to, to a confrontation. Um, so I actually want to get to level 40 as slowly as possible. So, yeah, we are not getting more experience. Maybe after level 40, we can try to get a little bit out of the memoirs. But above level 40, it probably won't matter anymore. Hmm. What else is there? Be nice to get the, uh, rid of the Spear of Rage. It's not giving us anything relevant. Or, well, it's still giving us the extra rage, but um, once we get anger, it won't be giving us, like, anything. We can get the, the stuff instead. Also, it be nice to get rid of the banner. I think we can work with 42 rage. And then replace this with something better. Yeah, I'm not, really not happy with the gear at the moment. Oh, and there is the... I knew that we had some resistance on the gear. So here it is, 5% all resist. So we are now at what? 85-ish, 87, something like that percent. Feels bad to leave when we have 24 rage. What is this? We could definitely take out these guys. But no, I want to do the fight for the chart, and that's gonna be probably a long one. So. Let's get out of here. I should have checked all of the shops. Actually, no, 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 no. Uh, I was thinking that I should have checked the shops for alchemists, but uh, we can't use them. So no reason to keep the uh, stack full, at least for now. But the dragon should be here. Oh, there are two dragons. I thought that was only one left and now we want uh, we want you 
We want... what else? We want you. The Archmages we can't get. Lethal? I'm not sure if we are faster than the Necromancers. Okay, well, one thing at a time. We definitely want to start this fight with the uh, uh, at least some rage. So uh, how does it look like here? Come on, where is it? Shackle the demonesses. Who goes forth? They go forth. Wait. Don't need target right now. Now we cast it. And we need to take out the demonesses before the uh, come on words before the shackles drop. Excuse me. I don't think that this is going to kill a single one. And let me read the ogre, or oh, not ogres, trolls. During the daytime, the troll's normal resistance and resistance to fire is doubled. Petrified Malavond. How much damage would we do with the flaming arrow? Eh, whatever. Hoping that we'll no, I was hoping that we would ignite them. Uh didn't happen. Wait. Wait. Step into the trap. Come on. Yep, that's their natural regeneration. I 
we can't send the assassins closer because uh, the moment that um, there is something in range of the trolls, they will go after it. They are not affected by the target. I guess I should play it safe, just slow them down, because it's so difficult to play around a unit that has movement 3 and is not crowd controlled in any way. Uh, where is the second chest? There. Come on. I'll just start generating as much rage as possible uh, because we want to have it for the next fight so I probably won't play as effectively as I usually would need to save resources this is gonna be probably the only uh, what's the name only mana sphere that we'll get in this fight. Okay, this is safe now, you can go here. Um, Definitely gonna need more units because we all have to block the the trolls. Yeah. Let's get rid of uh, the beholders. Okay, and I will finally kill something. Um, we don't have target, but actually we do need it.
Okay, 41 mana. Do we want to get more? We will get four here and four here. Probably should do one more mana accelerator. We have one more charge to generate rage on the Inquisitors. We will be getting a rage as the um, as the thorns are dying. Okay, move away. That was a pretty good hit. Good. So we have full rage almost, full mana. Can't be more ready than this. The problem are the necromancers. I'm pretty sure that they are still faster than our assassins. And I just don't know what unit I'd have to get to beat them. I'm pretty sure they are one of the fastest units in the game. Six. It's also six. Ah. Uh, Well, it depends then what they gonna do. If they just cast shekels or something, you're fine. I'm just really afraid that they're gonna attack. Because they have an AoE attack that's gonna most likely really hurt. Depends on how many there are. Let's find out. This is the fight that I want to do today. Oh no, we are... We are faster. Well, it's still not ideal, because we are only partially faster. We move the assassins out of the way, force them to target the dragon, but the Inquisitors take the splash damage. So how many die? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. I think I want to have the dragons here. Oh, by the way, this is something that should have been up already. What's the strongest stack here? This one? 
No, it's the demons, really? Oh, that was a nice hit. How many did we lose? Eight? I don't think that we can... Yeah, we can't resurrect them like this. So we will need resurrection spell. Have to keep that in mind. I think we have to go after this stack. Okay, nice. Here we will get help from the uh, from the necromancers. They're shocked. That's excellent. It means I can cast slow next turn, and instead I can do heal, and I can do divine armor. Wait. So you can pick this up. I'll take it. All of the Wonder Scrolls are useful. So why not? Then. That was actually wrong timing. Horrible timing. What was I? What, what, what am I doing? If I waited, I would have been able to hit them this turn with the assassins. What the hell am I doing? Oh, by the way, we want one more of these. Good. It's half of the stack of the of the demons gone only from the balls of lightning. We have speed only two. But if I move here, I can grab them and next turn this stag will be hitting everything around the dragons and the other one is like partially neutralized now Okay, how many double casts do we have? Two. We have to slow down these guys. I 
I could actually attack them. We do need the mana accelerator. Yeah, let's go for it. Wait. It's fine that we are losing the stack. It's not that relevant for this fight. to be target this turn and we'll be still missing a or actually no no we won't be missing a buff there we go We have one more double cast. I don't think we need the divine armor anymore, so we are pretty free this turn to do whatever we want. Um, oh, that's horrible. Wait. Is he gonna turn around? No. This is why the crushing blow with double is double distance is so great. Because these guys will never get to anyone. sure if it's even worth attacking anything but these guys are not really doing any damage in melee as you can see and those are level 4 units 50 of them they just did 6 damage to the dragons yeah I think we just heal and save the double cast getting so many scrolls today and actually if I'm to say nothing useful but that would be uh, the, I would be lying the divine armor was a really really good hit wait oh we need to cast the resurrection I forgot oops Okay, this turn it has to be Stone Skin. Next turn it has to be Targa.
How greedy do I want to be? We will have the Mana Leech available next turn. Mm. I will be fine. Once again, I think we saved the double cast. Okay, this is going to be the Resurrection turn. Good. Now we have once again some mana to work with. That was good timing. Now we finish up this stack. So that the dragons can fly over and we finally stop... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Stop taking the ranged attacks from the second Necromancer stack. So we won't have to worry about the AoE anymore. I had to be careful here because if I moved uh, uh, our units too close, they would take the splash damage. And uh, if I messed up, I would actually uh, have to reload. Uh, 97 thorns, there is really nothing we need them for, so we'll just turn them into some rage. And what are we doing? We actually have enough rage for another ball lightning. Yeah, let's go. Are we casting anything this turn? It's what this turn eight. Yep. 
I'll just get rid of those. I, I hate demons, but the, the infinite uh, like counter attack, they are such a pain in the ass. That was a nice one. Okay, and now we finally should have everything fully under control. I should have used the Mana Accelerator to move the Royal Thorns forward a long time ago. But well, at this point it doesn't really matter. Wait... Nice crit. Another one. It's turn 11, so we don't have to cast anything. We don't have rage to really do anything. Uh, so we just end the fight. Everyone is alive. Yeah. Just end it. Okay, that was a fun one. But um, um, I expected this to be so much more also much more dangerous but um, the initial burst got completely absorbed uh, through the divine armor so he, the dragons were never in danger uh, it was really easy and the proper reward that's what we wanted. Okay. So we have what we came for. Did I save? This is going to be such an annoying fight. It has to be target, it has to be shackles on the imps if there is only one stack. If not, then it's just... Oh wait, I need to unpause. It's just gonna be... Such a pain. The cyclops will have to die quickly and we'll probably have to do like double cast ghost blade on them. Depends on how many there are. Oh well, we'll think about that some other time. Now we can finally start explore exploring Elon. Here we could get the last missing pieces to the puzzle that we are st trying to put together. Yeah, these are also nasty fights. But um, I don't want to fight here. I just want to check some shops. First one. This is the Magic Academy. So here we should get access to Archmages. Let's offer them our help. Talk a little bit about Dark Elves. It's gonna be a lot of talking here, so again, if you want to read all of it, please pause the video. So there is, this is like a 
quest closely connected to the main quest line. This is one of the guys that helped uh, Demetrian to overthrow Frederick. And as you can see, 6800 experience reward, so this is a tough one. Then, the Elven King is currently captured somewhere, so they want us to free him, if I remember correctly. another quest but that's not why we are here I'm just picking up the quest because uh, may as well now we will learn a little bit about Zelgadis we will learn about war between orcs and elves about the tower and this is what we are here for. There they are. I'm not sure if they are guaranteed, but as far as I remember, I had Archmages here every single time. What is this? Initiative and Morale of Elves, where we won't be using any Elves. Fatal of Energy, Phantom, we have both. Death Star, hmm, that's not the one. And it's nowhere near strong enough to carry us through the end game. I mean, it can do a decent amount of damage, but compared to level 3 Gazer, it just can't compare. Level 3 Gazer, if it has. 8 target, which is the maximum amount of target uh, targets that it can hit. It can do like... Let's see, 50,000 damage per cast in average. And you can... Actually, we can't cast it twice per turn. But we can cast it every turn. For, I don't know, first 3, 4 turns, something like that. So that's... 150 to 100,000 damage in the first four turns. Uh, the Death Star, in the same time on level 3, can do 60, 70 if everything goes well. Maybe 100. I was thinking that if I can't get Geyser, if I would be able to replace it with the Death Star, but. I really doubt it. Hmm. Uh, we don't want to take any of these courses. We'll just check the shop. That's a good one. The problem is it's an elven item that already starts in, at low morale. And I'm pretty sure we can't suppress it. Uh, leadership required for zombies. Yeah. It's interesting that this is actually an orcish uh, item, not an undead item. Necrocall. Nothing that we are interested in, really. Dreads. We don't want dreads. I was actually thinking that maybe I could uh, try to use how they called sprites, I think, forest fairies, something like that. But 
I think they have been nerfed like a long time ago. Uh, at one point in the, the first game, The Legend, they were completely busted. It was the easiest way how to finish the game without losses. Because they had like infinite damage scaling. But pretty sure they removed it also we are not playing the right build for that um the build that abused it had to, like was stacking up attack to ridiculous amounts and then the the attack got transferred into massive stacks of those fairies and they were just hitting for like hundred thousand per attack Basically just like, like one-shotting endgame stacks. Okay, here we have a quest. We need to pick up a potion. That's the first dialogue. And we can check the trade. Avenging Angel. Okay, we don't want that one either. This is an interesting combination of units. Vampires, Shamans, and two Elvish units. But... Also not what we want. Hmm. <clears throat> so I think... We are done for this episode. I wanted to get... Oh, I forgot to recruit the uh, the Royal Thorn. But um, we have the Archmages. We have a map. Or we managed to get the Charic to Elon. Uh, so that's what I wanted from this episode. And next time we will uh, explore here. So let's check what's available. Peacefulness and a bunch of green dragons. I was really hoping to get at least one more type of dragons here. Oh well, it's good to know that we have more green dragons available. So next time we explore Elon as much as possible. We're going to be able to probably check everything. But um, we'll see how far inland we'll be able to get. And then... Uh, with the divine armor that I totally didn't expect to get, we could go to. Oh, let's see. I don't think there are any charts here. There are no charts here or on Tekron. So it's either Dersu or Umkas. We could uh, attack one of the unicorn stacks there to get inland, check if we can find something interesting. Uh, it's a small island, so probably not, but might as well do that. And we'll start looking for another chart. We may have to do some leveling before that, but we have so many more options now with the, the Divine Armor. We can even start looking at some like impossible stacks, because... As long as it's the dragon, uh, uh, the green dragons have all of the buffs up, they don't really care what they are fighting. But well, for today we are done, so I hope that you liked this episode, I hope that you enjoy me next time again. Until then, have a good time. Bye bye.